Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 8th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you our space weather update as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Always starting out here, 304 angstroms. That is just the filter that is being used looking at our sun the last 48 hours. As we did have one close to an M-class solar flare as well, a large plasma filament eruption from the top right-hand side just saw whip away. Having a look at incoming, cresting imagery here, as we do have a pretty active sunspot turning in. We've got four Earth-facing sunspots right now. Looking at outgoing here, and this is where we'll see the large plasma filament. Watch on the left-hand side. Getting ready to rip away there. As well, close to M-class solar flare from equatorial region sunspot. That is the big flashy sunspot there. And here is our rip. Having a look at multi-spectrum. Showing the last 48 hours of events. No coronal holes to talk about. A couple plasma tornadoes there spinning in the northern hemisphere. Actually, a few of them. Three, it looks like. As well, some just some amazing imagery here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed with daily events worldwide. 171 angstroms here, and we can see the heliosphere. Basically able to see the magnetic fields surrounding these sunspots and surface energies on our star. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. I hope you still enjoy these daily updates, keeping humanity aware and prepared to daily earthquakes, volcanoes, weather, and space weather. Space weather conditions remain moderate right now. R1, low R1 radio blackouts detected. There is our minor M-class solar flare. Geomagnetic activity sitting at a KP3 right now. Having a look at our real-time solar winds sitting at 450 kilometers per second after being up to about 470 earlier today. Pretty sporadic overnight last night as well. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, this showing all of the sun events heading to all of the planets in our solar system. We are the little yellow circle on the right-hand side. You can see CME shot out, outgoing position from that M-class solar flare. And here's a closer look at space weather affecting us over the next 48 hours. And this is from NOAA. And Lasco 2, showing the sun events taking off from the surface of our star. A couple CMEs there, and as well, there is our most recent CME. Slow that down, get a closer look at that plasma filament eruption. Pretty sizable CME. Schumann resonance for today is a strong power of 62 after being up last night, jumping up yet again today, especially over the past hour or so. 67 amplitude, quality 9.3, frequency max of 8.0, power 43. Let's have a look at earthquakes past 24 hours. We're going to start out here with the 5.8, which is the largest the last 24 hours in Panguna, Papua New Guinea, as well a 4.4 there east of Papua New Guinea. Fiji Islands reporting a pretty deep and sizable 5.3, 493 kilometer depth. 5.4 there, Marianas Trench, 4.5, Philippines, Japan, 4.5, Izu Islands, 4.3, and then we get to Kamchatka, or Severo Kurilsk. Russia 5.6 and as well a 5.2 just off the coast of Kamchatka. Getting to Alaska, we've got a small swarm at, that is occurring towards Adak, Alaska. But interesting and in, interestingly enough, 
We've got an awakened volcano. And Yakchuk is showing signs of activity with the most recent earthquakes through the region. Just wanted to give you a glance here at this surprisingly super volcano with a surprise lake in it. And you can see this crater has volcanoes in the crater. Just a massive volcano in the Aleutian Islands. And then a quick look here at Adak towards Adak Island. This is where we've seen increasing activity. And then just east of there, we've got the Great Sitkin volcano, which has been pretty active over the last couple of years, showing signs of activity. So heads up, Aleutian Islands, Anayakchuk is awakened, and more to come, I think, with all this increasing activity. McCarthy, Alaska, 5.4.5. As well, Vancouver Island, Canada, reporting a 4.3. Richland, Oregon, 3.1. Soda Springs, Idaho. Other than that, pretty quiet across the North American plate. Sitting at about 230 earthquakes in a 24-hour period, which is pretty much average. Quiet and through South America, only reporting the one 4.2. For pretty deep Earthquake there, Italy, 4.2, as well as 4.9 here, south of South Africa, Prince Edward Island region, Tajikistan, Afghanistan border, 4.2, and that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the world. Quick look at the last seven days. We've had a lot of deep earthquakes all across the West Ring of Fire and right up into Alaska. And this most recent really deep earthquake in Italy is a little bit concerning. So heads up through the Mediterranean. Could see some residual action from that deep earthquake. But still way too quiet North American plate most recent earthquake there through Canada, sizable and quite possibly sign of things to come. Having a look at the most recent volcanoes getting updated today, Era, Aniakchek, Epi and Karangatang, all new, newly awakened volcanoes and we have 16 reported around the world right now. Era in Japan, close to the Sakurajima, as well Aniakchek. They raised the aviation color code to yellow, which is the second lowest level on a four scale. But the most recent activity definitely prompting those levels to change. As well, we've got Epi, Karangatang, and Trident began on August 24th, 2022. So heads up, everybody. Having a look at the world weather forecast here, brought to you by Venture Sky. Still got some pretty big systems coming into the West Coast. Large low pressure center off the coast right now, as well a low moving through parts of Utah. Pretty intense low pressure system there in the middle of the Atlantic. Let's put this into motion here for the next few days. Atmospheric river of moisture still to continue for California. And then we've got this big system developing by Thursday and Friday. Extreme weather through southeastern United States. Snow for Ontario. Very windy and stormy conditions through the east coast. Watch for heavy snowfall towards Montana border. And then eastward with that low pressure system finally making it through by Saturday, Sunday. And then we've got this system here. Another low coming out of the Gulf. Extreme weather through the Gulf states and as well, pretty windy and extreme weather expected for parts of New York, northeastern United States and Ontario. Very windy conditions. West Coast long range forecast next Tuesday. Watching three more low pressure systems come through. And California seems to be getting a lot of this moisture. So heads up Californians and stay safe, aware and prepared. Long-range forecast here, 
still watching these low pressure systems spin and build up through the northeast Pacific. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains, but going to be pretty extreme this week. Electric atmosphere, watch for a lot of lightning strikes and possible new forest fires through the region. So heads up, South America. Overlooking South Africa, we've got still Cyclone Freddy, who is making landfall tomorrow and into Friday through parts of South Africa. And then as still forecasting to get ushered back out and then southwards towards Antarctica. Overlooking Europe, snowy, wet, gray days ahead of you as these lows come in off the North Atlantic. The United Kingdom getting the brunt of all these systems. And then later in the week, Central Europe and eastward. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Pacific, no major cyclones or typhoons developing. But could, could see some pretty heavy rains, possible snowfall through parts of Japan with this system here. Arctic outflow getting ready to pump out yet again from China. And then overlooking Australia and New Zealand. Watch for rains for New Zealand this week. Trough line from a low pressure system through northern Australia. Coastal rains and could be very strong winds through parts of New South Wales. Looking at a cyclone train here through the South Pacific as well. Off the coast of Australia, long range forecast. Lots of systems here. Atmospheric river of moisture stretching across the South Pacific and North Pacific now. Which I'm going to leave you here looking at images and forecast models for the next systems coming into North America. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to smack that like button. Let's see if we can get a thousand likes on this video. That would be amazing. You know, YouTube loves to recommend things that are liked and watched. So stay aware and prepared. Much love, everybody. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.